to be that. I think it's really, really important for women to show up as professionals and um, as equals. And that if you want to be treated as an equal, you got to show up as an equal. And that um, a lot of women get away with stuff that they think and the world thinks men are better at. Better at. So um, understanding gear, knowing how to troubleshoot, knowing how to wrap cables and set up a PA and haul your own stuff. You know, those are things that are, are often viewed as things that guys just know how to do well and do better and just do. And we live in this kind of world where people will cater to women in that way and they'll help them do all of those things. But I am uh, very passionate about this particular topic. And I think that if you are going to, if you want to be treated as an equal, you got to show up as an equal. And that means knowing how to do all of the stuff with your gear. And, um, and so, and that doesn't mean that you have to know everything, but it does mean that you have to be willing to learn and like ask questions about how to do stuff and then learn it and then reproduce it. Because um, the guys in your band, they didn't come out of the womb knowing how to, how to set up a PA or wrap a cable, and neither did you. Everyone learned that, right? And some people are more technically inclined, and that's awesome. But that's not, that's not a gender-specific thing. So um, I, and I would say to, to um, men who are learning how to play music and who are in bands and being a professional musician, that um, it seems like it would be a really nice thing to carry your female musician's gear for them. <laughs> um, but but yeah. but but what you want to do is you actually want them to know how to do their own stuff you want you know like you want them you, so you want to empower them so if they're struggling with something show them how to do it and then expect that they'll do it next time don't just do mm. stuff for them and also i i will say like um when i go shopping for my gear i lift it all before i even test out what it sounds like That's so smart. Yeah. And I've been doing that. Like since I was a kid, I'd, I walk around the music store and pick up the amplifiers. And if I can't lift that speaker cabinet, I, I don't even plug it in. Um, and I always have had some kind of wheel system. So like a Canadian tire dolly. I now have this like collapsible children's wagon that Jory also has. And it's amazing. And it saves your back and your body. It means you can be an independent self um, sufficient human being in the gigging world, you know, and it also means that you have the wherewithal to be able to help out your buddies and your bandmates carry their stuff. Like I will carry a drummer's entire kit except for the hardware bag because it's so heavy. <laughs> they don't even want to carry it, you know, and to be contributing equally that way. And we're, and, and I just think women are equal or yeah, they are, we are. So Maddie, you were asking if things are changing and I do think things are changing. Yeah, man. I think, uh, I think it's, it, I think it's been growing and, you know, I'm not, I, I feel like I've been, I'm being treated differently than I was years ago. And people um, aren't thinking that I'm the lead singer's girlfriend when I show up with all of my gear, um, you know, or that I'm being the roadie for the guitar player in the band. They, they kind of just think I'm the bass player now, which is a great feeling because I've spent a lot of years um, having everyone think I was somebody's girlfriend. And so, um, and I'm not sure, though, if if that's if that's changed because the places um, that I roam in and the kinds of people that I play with and the kinds of sound technicians that I'm dealing with now are of a different kind of caliber. So they just expect that I show up um, knowing how to to do things or or if just the industry is changing. But I will say um, Someone reminded me of this the other day, but a, a couple of years ago, I was playing at this festival and the sound technician really, um, you know, he came over while I was trying to plug in all of my gear and we were in this high pressure, like 15 minute turnover. And he came over and started to instruct me as to where to plug my bass in. At this point, I've been playing bass guitar for 20 years. Oh my God. 20 years. And my bandmate, she watched this happen. And I remember her just being like, what is going on? Like she knows how to plug her stuff in. And of course I couldn't lose my mind because that guy was entirely responsible for the sound of our show. Um, but yeah, that was really tricky. But here's, here's, here's what I, um, and I've been in a lot of different situations where sound men have definitely not treated me like I knew what I was doing. And here's part of the thing though, is that, um, those people have had experiences before where they've worked with women who didn't know how to plug in their instrument or quite at, at that particular festival, that sound person dealt with my friend who played before me, 
who's an incredible artist, but she didn't know how to tune her guitar. So she, he had to tune her guitar for her. And, uh, and that's why he treated me like I didn't know what I was doing, right? And, um, and so for every opportunity where I've kind of like felt where I've been walking in and people just, I've had to prove myself, I feel like it's an honor because I get to walk away from that situation and I get to constantly show people that women are capable and that we can do a bunch of stuff and that we're not dummies and that we're able to play music and that we have value in this industry. And so I really like to see those kinds of situations as opportunities and I have had um, men come up and apologize to me afterwards for the way that they treated me and for the assumptions that they made about what I was doing on that stage um, or in that venue. And that's been very cool to see. And so, I mean, I think that it is also our responsibility as women to just like show up and to show up in multiple ways, you know, and like to be there in the same way that we expect our peers to be there, whether they're guys or girls. Yeah. Mm -hmm.